Join us, won't you? The Death Watchers. Well, how badly do you need money? Oh, no, 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 right. You're a Collins. I forgot. Even if you do deny it for the lottery. You are out. So I suppose I'll just have to find someone else to pretend to be me. What are you talking about? In the village. In the village, the, the fishermen. They're always anxious for money. I could hire one of them, dress him up in my clothes, and put him in the room, and fool the ghost completely. I think I'm going to do that. Will you stop talking nonsense? <laughs> I'm perfectly serious. You're not going to get anyone else involved in this that doesn't have to be, because I'm not going to let you. Oh, brave brother. Now, listen to me. I'm no braver than anyone else in this house. Now, you depend on the Collins name to make a living. So take some of the uh, bad things that go along with it. You're the you... one who scoffs at the room. You're the one who says it's all legend. And you say, well, all those horrible things that happened in that room are just self-imposed. All right, maybe I said that at one point in the game. Now, I'm not so sure I believe it. But I'll make a wager that I'll find out about it before I die. And when I do, I'm not going to be a coward about it. Morgan. Do you want him, Hopkins? Yeah. Morgan. The letter. It's safe. Brutus Collins's letter. The lottery must happen. What if we don't have the lottery? Let us take that chance. No. Papa, you know, and I know, that no one must go into that room. Unless someone goes into the room, it will be worse for everyone. For everyone. Don't. Cry. Don't, don't cry. Done less lottery. Everyone is doomed. Oh, we are doomed with it. I wish I could save you. I know. I, I know wish you would. I, I know you. Well, where are you going? I must try. What? Do. What are you going to do? I must do. Papa, you can't leave this room. I won't let you. I, I must won't. try. This bottle was full. <laughs> Father is dead.
time for the bottle to be empty. Quentin, I have told Mother if you would go to her. I I'm going to. Yes. Do you think it wise to let her see you in your condition? I am going to see her. There is no reason for you to stay, Bramwell. I'm going to see Melanie. She is not up to it. She was with father at the end. She'll want to see me. I had to come back to his room. He loved me, Bramwell. Even if I wasn't his real daughter. Once, once I wanted to find out who my real parents were, he told me not to try. Wasn't it enough to have him and Mama? And it was. It was. The boys, they, they resent me, as they do you. Melanie, you must get away from Collinwood now. Your father must have left you enough money. Well, where would I go? Somewhere. Anywhere where you can have a life of your own. Of my own? Wouldn't you like that? Away from this house? With all its superstitions and its peers? Oh, I, I couldn't leave. Why? I couldn't. Any more than any of the rest of them. I couldn't. Don't ever ask me about it again. It's barbaric. Father's body should be in a chapel in town. Mother doesn't want it that way. Yes. Because of her, no one can come to this house. No strangers are allowed at Collinwood, and everyone's a stranger to us. Well, we, we must do as his mother wants. Yes. So father has to be buried. As if, as if he had the black plague. As if he were ashamed of his death. Collins's letter, dated 1680. Father told Melanie I was to read it this evening. You're, you're not going to read it aloud, are you? <laughs> What's the matter with you? Are you afraid to hear it? We must do as Father wanted. To my children, there is a curse upon our family, on this house. I sit this night in the room where it started, knowing I must stay till morning and confront our enemy. If I live through the night, come from this room and sound mine, this letter will never be read. But if I should die, or be changed by what must happen here, then one of you must do as I am doing now. The curse will continue. The room is quiet now, but I have the feeling it will not be for long. My children, what a heritage to leave you. You must choose the one to enter the room fairly. I would suggest a lottery. You will know when the time comes. One of you will see the specter of a woman in white. I will not explain why this curse started, but I know in the depths of my soul that it is useless to run to leave this house we love so much. If you, if you do not follow what I have said, doom and destruction will come to you all. I write this hoping that in the morning I will burn it, but I fear not. Written on this day, the 10th of March, 1680.
doing? Preparing the lottery slips. There are three of us. Must we have it tonight? You know we must. What the devil did Brutus Collins do? He brought the curse on us. But we... We don't have to have it tonight. I mean, this, this doom and destruction. Who believes that? I do, and Father does. There must be a way out. There's got to be a way out! There is no way out, Gabriel! stuff hidden all over the place, don't you? Is there a way to stop me? Stop who? Big Brother, that's who you know what I'm talking about. Granted, there must be a way. I mean, he's, he's insisting the lottery's going to be tonight. We can't do that. Well, it's all right. It's all right. He's simply postponing the inevitable. If it's not tonight, it'll be tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow. Now we might as well get it all over. Oh, all right. That, that's just what Big Brother wants. That's what he wants. He wants to push one of us into that room and then have it over with. Gabriel, there is the possibility, well, the possibility of something that we never discussed. What? What is that? Whoever goes into that room just may survive this time. You don't really believe that? Do you? I said it was a possibility. Oh, don't be a fool, Quentin. Now, six people have spent the night in that room, and they've either been killed or they've gone insane. You know, I wonder really what happens in that room. Do you ever wonder what happens in that room? I'm sick of wondering what happens in that room. Listen to me, listen to me. I... I'm going to be chosen to go in that room. I know it. I feel it's just your nerves. Just listen to me, please. Now, if I go into that room, I'd rather die than end up my father did. So just do one thing for me. Right. I go in that room, and I come out, I want you to kill me. Kill you? That's right, kill me. I don't care how you do it, just do it, do it. Now listen to me. We don't even know if you're the one who's been chosen. So I don't want to discuss it until we know. You're insufferable, you know that? I mean, you stand there pretending not to be afraid. But you are. You are. You're just as frightened as both of us. That's right. I am afraid. I'm not going to give in to it. I'm going to take my chance in the lottery and do... do whatever I have to do. Now, buck up, old boy. You know I'd be willing to bet money that you won't even be the chosen one. What do you think, sir? You think, sir, you know something I don't know? Not at all. It's just a feeling I have, that's all. Just a feeling. expect you until tomorrow. Oh, I just heard the news about your father. I'm so sorry. We all are, of course, but it was it was bound to happen. If there's anything at all I can do to no, help... Catherine, I am please. glad you stopped by tonight. I did want to talk to you. Please, come into the drawing room. What is it? Please sit down. I must talk to you. Or rather, I'm, I must warn you. Warn me? You will feel impelled to ask questions. 
And I must ask you to refrain from all questions, at, at least until tomorrow. Very well, I'll do whatever you ask me to do. Because I'm the oldest son in the family, I have inherited certain responsibilities. One of these is most serious and must be carried out this evening. I want you to promise that if anything happens to me... Happens to you? What? I didn't mean to put it just that way. What I'm trying to say is that... That is, if I act any different tomorrow... You must not marry me. Not marry you? I'm Morgan. Why should you be any different tomorrow than you are tonight? Catherine, you promise not to ask any questions. Morgan, are you in some kind of trouble? No, of course not. But you're so distressed. I want to help you. There is nothing you can do to help. If there were, you know I'd let you know that. But you can't keep me in the dark like that. It's not fair. Catherine, you must not ask any more questions. You're going to tell me. What's wrong before I leave here tonight? You're a very strong, willed young woman. Very well. You're going to know sooner or later. I might as well tell you now. Tell me what? About the legendary locked room and the family lottery. The locked room? The lottery? Do you mean that the stories and the rumors in the village are true? Yes. I'm afraid they are. There is such a room. And once during each generation, someone is chosen by lottery to spend a night in that room. But what's in the room? I don't know. No one has ever known. What about the people who spent the night there? No one has ever known to live to talk about it. Those who spent the night there have either died or gone mad. You mean what happened to Joshua Collins was not the result of an accident? That's right. Something that happened to my father in that room so terrified him that he was unable, unable to think of it for the rest of his life. Morgan, you must not hold this lottery. We cannot. We must go through it. I tell you, I will not lose you this way. But it's, it's primitive. I don't even see how you can take it seriously. Of course you would think it strange. I, I can understand that. And I can also understand if you have second thoughts about marrying into this family. Second thoughts? I am more determined than ever to marry you now. Tell me, who participates in this lottery? The men in the family. Including Bramwell? By rights, it should include Bramwell. But he is a coward. And he has refused to live up to his obligation. Whatever his reason is for refusing, it's not cowardice. Bramwell has many faults, but he is certainly not a coward. Well, I refuse to talk about this any further, or to have you defend him. Very well, I won't mention it again. I'm sorry, Catherine. I, I didn't mean to be so harsh. I think it best if you go on home. No, I told you. I'm going to stay here tonight and see this through. You really do love me, Catherine, don't you? You give me great stamina and courage. Morgan! We are waiting on you. I'm sorry. Catherine arrived unexpectedly. Where's Gabriel? He's on his way. A bit unsteady on his feet, but he's all ready to meet his destiny. <laughs> 